we have an article in which we feel you enjoy a lot. We have all heard of this man, the one and only Jackie Robinson. He is known for breaking the color barrier in baseball. He changed the sport as we know it. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was born in Sierra, Georgia in 1919. His mother, Mally Robinson, single-handedly raised Jackie and her four other children. They were the only African-American family on their block, and the prejudice they encountered only strengthened their bond. From this humble beginning would grow the first baseball player to break Major League Baseball's color barrier that segregated the sports for more than 50 years. In 1947, the Brooklyn Dodgers president, Branch Rickey, approached Jackie Robinson about joining the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Major Leagues had not had an African-American player since 1889. At the end of Jackie Robinson's rookie season with the Brooklyn Dodgers, he had became the first National League Rookie of the Year with 12 homers, a league leading 29 steals, and a 297 batting average. Jackie was eventually introduced into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. Jackie married Rachel Islam, a nursing student he met at UCLA in 1946. They had three kids, Jackie Jr., Sharon, and David. On October 25, 1972, Jackie Robinson was 53, and his death cause was a heart attack. In 1997, the United States Post Office honored Jackie Robinson by making him the subject of a commemorative postage stamp. Jackie Robinson's life and legacy will be remembered as one of the most important in African American history. The 16th Street Church bombing was an incident in history in which some people may have heard of and some may have not. It was a terrible incident in which many people were frustrated and wanted to change Martin Luther King Jr.'s described it as one of the most vicious and tragic crimes ever perpetrated against humanity. The 16th Street Baptist was a large and prominent church located downtown just blocks from Birmingham's commercial direct in City Hall just before 11 o'clock on September 15, 1963 instead of rising into prayers the con congregation was knocked to the ground as a bomb exploded under the steps of a church they sought safety under the pew and shielded each other from falling debris on september 15 1963 the congregation of the, of the 16th street baptist church in birmingham alabama greeted each other before the start of sunday sunday service three former ku klux klan members are eventually convicted of murder for the bomb. September 15, 1963, four girls are killed and more than 20 injured in a bomb blast at the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. The aftermath of this bombing, upon learning of the bombing at the church, Martin Luther King Jr. sent a telegram to Alabama, Alabama's governor, George Wallace, a staunch and vocal segregationist, stated bluntly, the blood of our little children is on your hands. The brutal attack and the deaths of the four little girls shocked the nation and drew attention to the violent struggle for civic rights in Birmingham. Over 8,000 people attended the girls' funeral service at John Porter's 6th Avenue Baptist Church. The deaths of the four girls was followed two months later by the assassination of President JFK, causing an outpouring of national grief activating the civil rights movement and ensuring the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Thank you for listening, and that's all we have for you today.